In this video, we're going to talk about the 10 best dividend ETFs to buy now. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. These funds provide diversified exposure to leading dividend equities in a single holding, making them an attractive investment option. At the very least, when measured against the lows it reached in June, the stock market now exhibits signs of being on an upward trend in the near term. However, as compared to where they were at the beginning of the year, the main stock market indices, such as the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and Dow Jones Industrial Average, are all much lower. As a result, it may be too soon to start rejoicing about the resumption of the bull market at this point in time. As an alternative, many investors may be better served by turning to low-risk dividend companies as they deal with the threats of inflation and increasing interest rates in the months ahead. This is because low-risk dividend equities have a lower potential for loss. The following 10 dividends ETFs are worth a look if you want exposure to the stock market so that you may play any possible upswing but also want to lock in regular paydays as a buffer against any difficulties that may arise. Each of these ETFs take a somewhat different strategy, but they all value regular income as a means of either maintaining a balanced portfolio or protecting it from any future losses. Unless otherwise specified, dividend yields are determined by looking at a company's distributions over the previous 12 months. Number 10. ProShares S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETF, NOBL. ProShares is best known for its lineup of leveraged and inverse ETFs, but it does have some innovative plain vanilla offerings too. A great example is Noble, which tracks the S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats Index. Like SDY, Noble also screens for companies with consecutive years of dividend growth. Noble takes a more conservative approach to stocks it includes in its fund by opting for companies with a minimum of 25 years of consecutive dividend increases. This creates a concentrated portfolio of just 64 companies weighted equally at about 1.2% to 1.4% each, with notable holdings including Stanley Black & Decker Inc., SWK, Clorox Company, CLX, and Church & Dwight Company, CHD. Noble pays a yield of 2.1% and charges an expense ratio of 0.35%, with a current average annual 5-year return of 10.5%. Number 9. SPDR Portfolio S&P 500 High Dividend ETF, SPYD Investors seeking the brand name recognition and screening criteria of the S&P 500 can opt for SPID, which targets the 80 highest yielding stocks in the S&P 500. Despite this, the ETF is actually fairly balanced in terms of composition, with all 82 holdings receiving equal weight allocations of 1.8% or less. The fund achieves this by tracking a new offshoot called the S&P 500 High Dividend Index. This makes SPIDE a highly concentrated fund. Overall, the SPDR ETF is weighted strongly toward the financials, with 21%, utilities with 16%, and real estate with 15%. The fund has one of the higher yields on our list, at 4.0%, and is only slightly pricier, with a 0.07% expense ratio. Number 8. Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity, SCHD Investors looking for a higher concentration of large-cap, blue-chip dividend stocks can opt for SCHD, which passively tracks the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index. Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity Fund holds just 104 stocks, making it less diversified. However, SCHD does provide better exposure to value stocks given the low price-to-earnings and price-to-book ratios of its holdings. In fact, Morningstar actually categorizes SCHD as large cap value. Current top holdings include Texas Instruments Incorporated, TXN, PepsiCo Incorporated, PEP, and Home Depot Incorporated, HD. SCHD currently charges an expense ratio of 0.06% and pays a 30-day SEC yield of 3.3%. Number 7. Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF, Ticker, VIG. Any list of dividend ETFs has to start with the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation Fund, which is the runaway leader with roughly $66 billion in assets under management. It's also among the cheapest dividend ETFs on Wall Street, charging just 0.06% in annual expenses or only $6 per year on every $10,000 you invest. It's not particularly complex in its approach, holding almost 300 large-cap dividend payers in the U.S., including Mega Insurer United Health Group Inc., UNH, and big tech icon Microsoft Corporation, MSFT, among others. 
Every stock in the portfolio pays a dividend, but as you can see by its rather modest yield of less than 2%, that doesn't necessarily mean big time paydays. Still, as a simple replacement for the typical large cap stock holdings, this dividend ETF is the most popular and liquid option out there. The dividend yield of the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF is 1.8%. Number 6. Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, VYM. The next largest dividend ETF is another Vanguard offering, which simultaneously expands the portfolio to nearly 450 stocks while raising the dividend yield by more than 50% over the prior fund. At roughly $58 billion in assets at present and a similarly cheap 0.06% expense ratio, this is a very attractive upgrade over the prior fund for those folks looking for a bit more income out of their dividend ETFs. You'll see a lot of the same large cap stocks, but also a bunch of mid-sized dividend payers as well. This fund has a lot more stocks outside of tech, as Vanguard Dividend Appreciation has roughly 24% of its assets in information technology stocks like Apple Inc., AAPL, that pay small nominal dividends, while Vime has just 7% of the portfolio in tech as it looks for bigger yields in smaller banking stocks, consumer staples, and healthcare instead. The dividend yield for the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF is 3%. Number 5. iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF, DGRO. Another major player among dividend ETFs is this iShares offering, which currently holds $25 billion in investor assets. It doesn't have an awe-inspiring yield, but the strategy behind DGRO is to seek out companies that have a very good chance of paying bigger dividends down the road. The portfolio of more than 400 stocks includes companies like Coca-Cola Company, KO, which currently pays about 2.7% but just notched its 60th consecutive year of dividend increases after a bump in payouts back in February. This kind of long-term commitment to dividend growth will ensure generous paydays going forward even if the current yield of this dividend ETF isn't particularly jaw-dropping. iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF offers a 2.1% dividend yield. Number 4. Global X Super Dividend ETF, SDIV. With the largest yield among dividend ETFs on this list so far, SDIV, is a focused fund that has roughly 100 holdings. A lot of the larger names that populate the prior funds are absent, and instead, this list is focused on companies that are very generous with their payouts. For instance, top holdings include $8 billion U.S. Healthcare Real Estate Investment Trust Omega Healthcare Investors Inc. OHI, which yields about 8% at present instead of the typical blue-chip stocks. There are also international players like the Brazilian utility Energia and the USU property company of Hong Kong. The list is diverse and a little riskier than a typical core dividend ETF, but it's hard to argue with the huge yield Global X Super Dividend ETF offers. The dividend yield of the Global X Super Dividend ETF is 13%. Number 3. Shares International Select Dividend ETF, IDV. If you like the prospect of bigger dividend payouts thanks to an overseas focus but would prefer to not have too much of an emerging market bent like Global X Super Dividend ETF, this more modest iShares alternative could be a dividend ETF worth a look. With almost $5 billion in assets under management, it's still quite established even if it's not as big as some of the first funds on this list. And thanks to a focus on only elite non-US stocks that pay big dividends, it offers a much more generous yield than domestic-only funds. Representative holdings at present include $120 billion in London-based mining giant Rio Tinto Group and Japanese shipping giant Nippon Yusin. Developed markets make up the vast majority of holdings in, IDV, including the UK stocks leading the portfolio with 20% of assets, followed by Australia, 9%, South Korea, 8%, and Japan, 8%, for a well-rounded take on top dividend stocks outside the US. The dividend yield of the Shares International Select Dividend ETF is 7%. Number 2. Global X MLP ETF, MLPA. Just as focusing on higher yielding geographies is one way to unlock big paydays, another way to tap into larger yield in the dividend ETF universe is to take an industry-specific approach. And right now, Master Limited Partnerships, or MLPs, are an incredibly attractive industry within the energy sector that's worth a look. These energy infrastructure stocks operate pipelines, processing plants and storage facilities, making them much more reliable income investments than energy stocks dependent on the day-to-day -day movement of oil prices. 
This Global X fund admittedly has a very focused list of less than 20 total holdings including Enterprise Products Partners LP, EPD, and Energy Transfer LP, ET, as there aren't that many MLPs out there to choose from. That means a bit more risk due to a relative lack of diversification. However, these midstream energy stocks offer up big and reliable dividends that make them attractive to dividend investors willing to take a different approach in pursuit of yield. The dividend yield of the Global X MLP ETF is 7%. Number 1. Global X NASDAQ 100 Covered Call ETF, QILD. Covered calls are an investing strategy that allows dividend-oriented investors to harvest additional yield by selling options on underlying stocks they already own. This can be complicated or time-consuming if you own individual companies, but, QILD, offers a unique way for investors to regularly sell covered calls on the companies that make up the NASDAQ 100 index. In other words, you'll participate modestly in any upside to big-name stocks like Microsoft and Apple, but more importantly, QILD, will sell options against those stocks to generate consistent and generous dividends. The strategy is complicated and can involve a bit more risk, but the roughly $7 billion in assets in this dividend ETF prove it's a popular approach. In addition, it goes without saying that the yield is in the double digits, which speaks for itself. Currently, the dividend yield of the Global X NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF is 14.9%. Which of the 10 dividend ETFs would you like to add to your investment portfolio? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel for weekly more stock and investing strategies videos. Check out our other two videos on the screen. Thank you for watching.